A great way to build trust on your site is to have a featured in or featured by section right under the fold on your homepage. And I've just only added this in on my personal site. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can style it and how to actually set it up in a way that makes sense and builds that social proof and trust straight from the off. So we're on my site and you can see I've got this featured in section here and you can have this um, where it's not on a color background, but I thought that this would stand out and really help the logos pop. So I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how to do the non-background version as well. So let's replicate this on my site. We go into edit on whatever page that you want to add it to. And then if we break it down here, you can see it's a text block, shape block, and then one, two, three, four, five image blocks. And then this is just going into the next section, but we'll build it in the section above. So blank section, and then we'll start with our text block. So text, we'll just stretch this across and we'll say featured by. You can obviously have whatever the heck you want in there. Don't know why that's white, make it blue. Okay, so there's the text block. Next, we're gonna put the shape block in. So shape, and then we'll stick that in. So let's go down to here, drag that. I'm gonna make it a little bit more, or a little bit narrower than usual. Go into your design, uh, we'll keep it as a square. I'm gonna round the corners on this one, and then I'm gonna change it to a dark color to contrast the background. Then we'll shrink it down to around here. And then you can see it's starting to come together. Now what we want to do is put an image block in and we're going to line that up. Uh, let's see, I think this needs to be one slimmer. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So then we'll shrink this down here and then we're going to move it in one. Then we're going to duplicate that. Duplicate it again. Stick this in the middle. Move this over just the one and this is the fiddly part I had to shrink this to a square as you can see so I'll, I'll show you the trick with that in a moment we want to then duplicate again move it over duplicate once more move it over I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do that but hey ho so we've got our five uh, bits in there now we want to find our image so click in here and then you can upload whatever logo that you want. If it's on a, a dark background, you want to make all your um, all your logos white or a light color. To do that, if you just Google, uh, what's that Google? Make my image one color or make image monochromatic. You upload your image, select the color that you want it to be, and then it will just make it that color. So with all of these, I did it for white, except for the two logos here that were already white. So you can upload that. I'm just gonna use, obviously, what I had uh, initially. God, I upload so many bloody pictures. There we go. So, logo one, and then obviously, SEO space, SIM marketing, etc., etc. And you can see we've now replicated it. So, when I said I was gonna come onto it, now I'm gonna come onto it. With this middle logo, you wanna ideally pick something that's square. Because with the sizing, if I do that, it just looks, you know, it looks crap. So you have to fiddle around with this a little bit. I mean, you could make it wider like this, and then everything can grow. So let's stick that right out to the end. We'll bring this in here. Uh, make them equidistant like so. Uh, let's see, that needs to be one more. That needs to be one more. And then what we could do, you know, if your sizing is different than mine, drop them down, highlight all of these, and then just drop it into the middle. So you could do something like that as well. Obviously, the Squarespace logo isn't the best there. So what I would do is I'd switch that out for this so it can sit on the edge, but we've still got a bit of a gap. And then I'd grab the Squarespace logo, stick that in there, and you can see it looks a little bit better. So you can play around with the sizings. I just found that this looked the smartest personally on my site, but it's your site, so you do whatever you want. Now that's uh, the shape block, the background. All you have to do is get rid of it and then change the color, obviously. And then you can see 
you can have it just on a standard background as well. And that looks equally as good. It's just purely stylistic preference, how you want to approach it. I haven't seen this done many times on other sites, which is why I wanted to do it to stand out a little bit. But, uh, uh, you know, there's a reason why so many people do this and that's because it works. And obviously, if you're on a white background, then make these dark logos. Goes without saying. But I'm going to say it anyway. So that is that. Hopefully, you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.